What is SRT? SRT is a video transport protocol designed to send high quality video over the public internet. SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. SRT can be used with many popular video production solutions, including OBS, Wirecast, and vMix. In fact, there are over 450 members in the SRT Alliance today. SRT is used by video producers, small and large, to enable remote productions from around the world. Unlike NDI, which is designed for local area networks, SRT was designed for use over the public internet. This is done partially by managing a fixed amount of latency for each video stream. Therefore, SRT does require internet access. SRT video connections provide broadcast studios with remote access to high definition video and audio that is usable for video production. For example, SRT is an ideal way to send video from reporters in the field who make remote video contributions. Broadcast studios can then receive that video where it can be mixed into a news production. If you like this video so far, hit that like button to let us know that you want to learn more about this topic. SRT has made a name for itself by providing encryption that ensures secure transport of even the highest level productions. SRT can enable end-to-end -end AES encryption, which is ideal for any content that requires protection. SRT protects against video jitter and packet loss, even during bandwidth fluctuations from unreliable Wi-Fi or cellular connections. As SRT hardware and software becomes more affordable, Everyday productions done at schools, churches, and state and local government agencies are starting to use the solution. While SRT is used by the world's largest live production companies, including Fox Sports, Comcast, and the NFL, the solution is open source and used by thousands of independent broadcasters. SRT is helping to enable remote productions around the world, and there are a few things you should know to get started with SRT. First of all, SRT uses the public internet. Therefore, you can either set up a peer-to-peer -peer connection, or you can use a proxy server to connect with a remote SRT connection. A peer-to-peer -peer connection will require a little networking knowledge. For example, you will need to know your public IP address, make sure your router is set up with port forwarding, and configure your video production software to receive the stream. There are great tutorials you can watch to step through this process, like this one on vMix YouTube channel or the PTZ Optics channel here. The second easier way to get set up using SRT is to use a proxy server like SRT Mini Server or Media Looks. These applications, which do include a monthly cost, will receive SRT video feeds and convert them into NDI, which you can easily use with OBS, vMix, Wirecast, and more. If you're still watching, hit that red subscribe button. It's totally free and will get you notifications for more upcoming videos. You should know that SRT is not ideal for two-way communications like Zoom or Skype. Rather, SRT is ideal for broadcasting in one-way communication scenarios, like remote reporting or connecting video streams to a remote broadcast studio. One of our favorite use cases for SRT is remote production with a couple of 5G connected cell phones. The Urbanist recently produced a multi-camera tour of New York City using the Larix Broadcaster app on an iPhone 12 camera. These cameras were able to send two to three megabits per second of quality video streams back to a production PC, which was then incorporated broadcast elements such as a live chat, graphics, overlays, and more. Another great example of SRT is connecting two video production systems together. For example, consider a trade show happening where a live stream is going on. A company can easily set up a few cameras on site at the trade show area, but they don't need to bring an entire video production system with them on site. Instead, they can send each video and audio stream from the trade show floor back to their video production studio for broadcasting out to the world. Note, when you're using a hardware encoding option in a software like vMix, 
you can utilize an NVIDIA graphics card to decode SRT video streams. When doing so, you may need to consider how many encoding channels are being utilized on your graphics card for use simultaneously. If your graphics card has a limited number of simultaneous encode channels, you may need to use your CPU to decode SRT. Most GeForce NVIDIA graphics cards are limited to two hardware encodes per stream. So if you are using hardware encoding for your recording and streaming already, you cannot also use it for your SRT with a graphics card like the GeForce. If you have a P2000 or higher end Quadro card, you have an unlimited number of encodes. Quadro graphics cards are only limited by the capabilities of the particular card. Let us know how you are thinking about using SRT. Check out our Jumpstart Guide to SRT below. This video is part of our Back to Basics video series, which is an evolving book that you can download for free at streamgeeks.us basics. Until next time, remember, you won't become a video production expert overnight, so hit that subscribe button and join the Stream Geeks as we all learn about this exciting industry together. Cheers!